I remember looking at an article um, about 20 years ago with slightly tongue-in-cheek that said, oh, the best way of finding an enterprise architect is to find somebody who's been doing enterprise architecture for 10 years. <laughs> that doesn't really help. What is the entry point? First thing is curiosity. You've got to want to learn. If you're going to be an enterprise architect, you've got to have that curiosity and passion for learning new businesses and how they operate. You've got to be comfortable in ambiguity. There's always going to be a few things that are out there. Thing. And you've got to have some base background in business change. Now, that can be coming from the technology side, which given the history of enterprise architecture, a lot of people do come from that technology side. But more and these days become more common to come from maybe that business analysis side. And so in the business architecture space, you have business analysts. So one thing I say I present to the universities every year, and all of the university graduates on finding out the amount of money you can earn as an architect was, oh, how can I become an architect? Well, the bad news is you've got to do five to 10 years of grunt work. You've got to have the battle scars. You've got to see change through. You've got to be able to command the respect of business and IT people. And so you have to have that, we call it gravitas, to be a successful enterprise architect. Despite all of that work, you've got to go through it. Let me encourage you all to do it. It is one of the most rewarding jobs you are ever going to get. I have never any regrets for choosing to be an EA. I love getting to understand how an organization operates at the level of detail. And I also love, as I've been consulted EA, working across many industry segments and getting to understand how you know, utilities work, how power works versus how a bank works, or how aged care works, or how government finance works. It's just fascinating.